Welcome back to this episode where we will actually start creating and using our function. By now, you must know what a function is and why you should use a function. Before we start, let me start by explaining to you how you could format functions, classes, and variables. So you have three common ways to format them and I will add comments. The first one is camel case. And what camel case basically is, is that every word after the first one starts with a capital. So you're not using spaces, underscores, or other punctuations. So let me add that as a comment, that every word after the first one is a capital. So let me give you an example as well. So we want to create a function with the name my function. The way you create that with camel case is simply by writing down my with a capital F function followed by a set of parentheses and semicolon. The second way to format them is lowercase. And lowercase basically means that all words are in lowercase, but every following word has an underscore in between it. All lowercase, underscore in between. So let me use the same example as my function. That would be my underscore function. And the third one is Pascal case. And Pascal case is basically a naming convention in which the first letter of each word is a compound word. So that basically means that it's capitalized. So every word is capitalized. And my function would be the M with a capital and the F with a capital as well. So I recommend you to use camel case or lowercase for variables and functions. And that's basically what we did throughout this course until this point. And I recommend you to use Pascal case for classes, which we will be discussing later on. So let's create our first function by writing down the keyword function, followed by the function name. And I want to continue on with the my function. So let's write down my function with a set of parentheses and curly brackets. And what we want to do is basically echo out, hello. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that nothing's happening because we need to call our function. And we need to do that outside our function, otherwise it won't work. So let's add my function right here. This is the way you call it, by writing down my function, set of parentheses, and semicolon. So let's save it, refresh it, and nothing's happening. Because everything that's in between our function that we want to do is the local scope. So we can't use that outside. So let's copy my function. Let's paste it. Let's refresh it. And you can see that hello is printed out. We're basically calling whatever is inside our my function function. We can even create variables inside our functions. So let's say variable x is equal to hello. And let's replace hello in our echo, the string, to variable x, save it, refresh it, and the output is, well, almost the same. The output is the same now. But if you want to use variable x outside, let me echo it out, outside of our function, you can see that we get an undefined variable x, because just like I said, Everything in our function is a local scope, so we cannot use that outside of our function. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.